Okay, this video is going to demonstrate how to begin to work with macros in VBA in, in Microsoft Excel 2010. The first thing that you're going to need is the Developer tab on the ribbon up here. And in order to make that appear, if it's not already open, you're going to need to go to the File tab. I'm going to have to double click on that. Go down to Options. The Excel Options menu is going to show up. And from there you want to select Customize Ribbon on the left panel and then on the right side go down to the bottom and you'll see a box for developer which is not checked just need to check that box and hit OK and now we're back on the home tab and what you can see is by checking that box the developer button shows up on the ribbon so you can just click on that to see all of the developer options in the code group the first button here is the visual basic button if you click on that button it's going to open up the visual basic editor in another window next to that is the macros button if you click on that it's going to show you a list of the macros that are in this document. Up here with the little red circle is the record macro button. Clicking on that is going to bring up the dialog box to start recording a macro. Underneath that is the use relative references button which is toggled. You can either have it on or off. And this exclamation point inside the triangle is to adjust macro security. In the controls group you have several buttons. This insert button, if you click on that it's going to bring up the form controls where you can insert buttons or you can insert checkboxes and other types of form controls. The only other two items over here are the properties button, we'll show you the properties window, and then the view code button so you can see any code that's on here.